Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep, man, deep into the world of ancient mysteries. We're talking hidden tunnels, alien arrowheads, forgotten pyramids, all that crazy stuff our ancestors left behind. We're gonna look at some of the most fascinating archeological discoveries from around the planet. From ancient tombs to secret cities to cave paintings older than your grandpappy's grandpappy. So buckle up, grab your thinking cap, and get ready to explore the mysteries of the past. Let's do this. All right, so we're starting off in Mosul, Iraq, where ISIS was doing their whole reign of terror thing. Now, these guys were brutal, no doubt, but they weren't just about destroying history. Turns out they had a side hustle going on, amateur archaeology. Yeah, you heard that right. These guys were digging tunnels under ancient sites, looting artifacts. They even blew up Jonah's tomb, which is like a major religious site for multiple religions. But here's the kicker. Under that rubble, archaeologists found a whole Assyrian palace. Imagine that, an entire palace hidden for centuries, just waiting to be discovered. Who knows what kind of treasures ISIS already made off with. It's like, were they planning to sell these ancient artifacts on the black market? Were they going to use the money to buy more weapons? It's a crazy thought, man. And the thing is, this kind of looting, it's a huge problem, not just in the Middle East, but all over the world. It's like stealing pieces of history, you know? These artifacts, they belong in museums, not some private collection. They're part of our collective human story. So yeah, ISIS might be gone. But the damage they did to our shared heritage, that's going to take a long time to repair. It's a real shame, man. Next up, we're heading over to Jordan, where archaeologists have uncovered a courtyard that might have been the site of John the Baptist beheading. Yeah, you heard that right. We're talking biblical drama, folks. The story goes that John the Baptist, this prophet dude, was imprisoned by King Herod. Now, Herod's wife, Herodias, she hated John's guts for some reason, so she used her daughter Salome to get rid of him. Salome did this sexy dance for Herod, I'm talking seven veils, the whole nine yards, and Herod was so impressed, he promised her anything she wanted. And what did she ask for? John the Baptist's head on a platter. Talk about a buzzkill, right? Now historians are still debating whether this courtyard is the actual spot where John met his end. But let's be honest, the story itself is pretty wild, regardless of where it happened. I mean, imagine being at a party and someone's like, hey, for my birthday present, I want that guy's head on a silver platter. It's just messed up, man. But hey, that's the Bible for you. It's full of crazy stories, violence, betrayal, the whole shebang. It's like a Quentin Tarantino movie, but with sandals and stuff. Okay, so you know how much I love talking about aliens and UFOs, right? Well, this next discovery isn't quite an alien spaceship, but it's still pretty cool. Archaeologists in Switzerland found an arrowhead made from a freaking meteorite. Yeah, you heard that right. We're talking space rock weaponry here, folks. It's like something out of a sci-fi movie. Bronze Age humans were really into their meteorites. They probably thought these space rocks were gifts from the gods. Imagine walking around with your meteorite arrowhead like, yeah, this is my lucky charm, came straight from the heavens, baby. You'd be the coolest dude in your tribe for sure. What did they think when they saw these things falling from the sky? Did they think it was the end of the world? They had to rely on their imagination, their mythology. Maybe those meteorites really were magical. All right, let's shift gears and talk about Venice, Italy. You know, the city of canals, gondolas, romantic getaways. Well, it turns out Venice has a hidden secret, literally hidden beneath the water, a Roman road. Yeah, archeologists found remnants of a Roman road submerged in the Venice Lagoon. It's a reminder that this city, as beautiful as it is, has been slowly sinking for centuries. And with climate change doing its thing, Venice might soon join that ancient road at the bottom of the lagoon. It's a sobering thought, man. Imagine losing a city like Venice. It's like losing a piece of history, a piece of art. And it's not just Venice, right? Coastal cities all over the world are facing the same threat from rising sea levels. It's a wake-up call, folks. We gotta get serious about climate change before we lose some of the most amazing places on Earth. So next time you're planning a trip to Venice, 
Maybe book it sooner rather than later. Who knows how much longer it'll be around. Okay, let's talk pyramids, baby. But we're not going to Egypt for this one. We're heading south to Sudan, where you'll find the pyramids of Moreau. Now these pyramids are just as impressive as their Egyptian counterparts, but for some reason nobody seems to care about them. Seriously, while tourists are swarming all over the Giza Plateau, these pyramids are just chilling in the desert, ignored and slowly crumbling away. It's like they're the forgotten stepchild of the ancient world. But here's the thing. The kingdom of Meroe, it was a big deal back in the day. They were rivals to the Egyptians. They had their own language, their own culture. They even had their own Candace, which was like their version of a pharaoh, except it was a woman. How cool is that? So why are these pyramids so overlooked? Who knows, man? Maybe it's because they're in Sudan, which hasn't always been the easiest place to visit. Or maybe it's just because everyone's obsessed with Egypt. But whatever the reason, it's a shame. Because these pyramids deserve more love. They're a testament to a lost civilization, a reminder that there's still so much we don't know about the past. All right, let's talk about something that really bums me out climate change. We already talked about how it's threatening Venice, but it's also messing with some of the oldest art on the planet. I'm talking about the cave art in Sulawesi, Indonesia. This stuff is ancient, man, like 45,000 years old. That's older than the pyramids, older than Stonehenge. These cave paintings, they're like snapshots into the minds of our ancestors. They depict animals, handprints, all sorts of cool stuff. But here's the bad news. They're fading away. Climate change is causing temperatures and humidity levels to fluctuate, which is wreaking havoc on the delicate pigments used in the paintings. It's like someone's taking an eraser to our history, little by little. And it's not just the cave art in Sulawesi. Climate change is threatening ancient sites all over the world. From melting glaciers to rising sea levels to extreme weather events, it's a global problem that requires a global solution. We gotta get our act together, folks. We gotta stop polluting the planet. We gotta start investing in renewable energy. We gotta make some changes before it's too late. This planet, it's the only home we got. We gotta take care of it, not just for ourselves, but for all the generations that come after us. Okay, let's get back to some ancient mysteries, shall we? This time we're heading to Ireland, where archeologists have discovered a 5,500 year old tomb covered in spiral carvings. Now, spirals are a pretty common motif in ancient art. You see them all over the world, from ancient Egypt to Native American rock art. But these spirals in Ireland, they're different. They're incredibly intricate, and nobody has any idea what they mean. Some archaeologists think they might represent the cycles of life and death, or maybe the movement of the sun and stars. Others think they might have been used in some kind of religious ritual. But honestly, nobody knows for sure. It's a total mystery. It's like our ancestors left us a message, but we lost the decoder ring. And that's what's so cool about archaeology, right? It's like a giant puzzle, and we're constantly finding new pieces. But for every answer we uncover, we're left with a dozen more questions. And that's what makes it so addictive. It's the thrill of the unknown. The possibility that we might stumble upon something that changes everything we thought we knew about the past. All right, for our final stop on this ancient adventure, we're heading to Peru. But we're not going to Machu Picchu, that place is crawling with tourists. We're going to Chan Chan, the ancient capital of the Chimu civilization. The Chimu were like the pre-Inca empire. They ruled a huge chunk of the Peruvian coast before the Incas. Their capital city, Chan Chan, was massive. Over 30,000 inhabitants, huge palaces, temples. But today, Chan Chan is mostly ruins. The Spanish looted and destroyed the city. Even in ruins, Chan Chan is incredible. You can still see the city walls, intricate carvings, and eerie wooden statues. It's like walking through a ghost town, a reminder of fallen empires. Sadly, Chan Chan faces a new threat, flooding. Climate change is causing more frequent El Nino events. Archaeologists are racing against time to protect it. This city is a treasure trove of history, and we could lose it all. So, there you have it, folks. Just a taste of the amazing ancient mysteries that are out there waiting to be discovered. 
From hidden tunnels to alien arrowheads to lost pyramids, the past is full of surprises. And the more we learn about where we came from, the better we can understand where we're going. So keep exploring, keep asking questions, and keep an open mind. The truth is out there, somewhere. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more mind-blowing content. And as always, thanks for watching.